Hey guys, good morning from Indonesia. This is almost 5 a.m. from Indonesia, and today's video is about to create the navigation with the Bootstrap version 4. So, some of you may be familiar with the Bootstrap, and this is the framework that we are using on. Okay, so let's get started and just going to the starter template here okay copy and in this case i'm using the sublime so you can use sublime and changing the title okay and i will remove this okay so this is the place that we will work on on this so I will put here content here we go okay. so basically all of them we are lot by uh, the CDN so means that we don't have to save our CDN but you have to connect to the internet okay so this is all of JavaScript you can replace with the offline but currently I'm using CDN from starter template from the bootstrap okay and yeah bootstrap just provide you the components here for the navigation bar so we can use this one copy and then we can put here okay and we have to make it clearly okay looks nice and I think we can preview here okay so this is our navigation bar but I'm gonna make it to the center so how to do that is pretty easy you select from the anchor anchor here until this div before nav and then you cut and then you create another class which is container and then you paste here Okay, and it have to be to the center. Nice. Okay, so I think we need the dummy content because we want to scrolling to the bottom. So just going to the lip zoom. This is for the dummy content. And we can put after navigation here. Okay. So row and then content go and then container and then call. Okay, so so fast. <laughs> eh, yeah, I need paragraph. We need paragraph. Okay, and we need another paragraph. Just make it like this. Nice. And I guess that. We need the here, framework tutorial. Okay. And in the content, we want to give the padding top and padding bottom. So this is I provide master.css, but we have to link the master custom CSS. And then here you have to link to master CSS content ku padding top 100 pixel and padding bottom 100 pixel okay looks cool and then we have to copy sorry we have to duplicate those paragraphs until it's scrolling okay it's scrolling and then we just need to working on the CSS for this navigation so we're going back to the nav here and we give the ID navbar q q is like my navbar my but this is Indonesian language with the q like this okay so then after that we're going to the CSS navbar q and here we give the position uh, fixed okay so the position fixed will help 
the navigation to become scrolling okay but since this is id then we have to use hashtag okay but what happens with the navigation bar it broken yes it is because we are using another property from the master this one so we have to fix it by with 100 and top 0 okay like this right okay okay so this is uh, fixed right now so I think we have to working in the uh, jQuery so let's do this but before that we have to link the jQuery here our custom JavaScript so here have to be custom JS okay we script source master wait I guess I have to press enter and then you can see here <laughs> master.js this is that we have provide so here we have to use the uh, init initialization initialize initialize I think so initialize or initialization I not really sure but this is recommended from jQuery and we have to use the function here so means that we are uh, after the document is ready then we 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 will have used the uh, jQuery here we declare new variable back scroll window pay of pk offset okay and then we give the event which is window on scroll function here we have to declare another variable current scroll window pay offset okay so we have to give the condition here if back scroll more than current scroll and then we select the get element by id which is navbar go and then we edit the css to become top zero but what if else so if the back scroll less than current scroll have to be minus uh, sorry negative 100 pixel okay and then after that we put here base scroll current scroll okay let's try we refresh okay it doesn't working let's go back to check so how to solve the problem is pretty easy so basically the jQuery is not working so how do we check that it's pretty easy just click right on your browser and inspect and then you're going to the console so they will give you the notice if you were wrong to writing a jQuery here as you can see here okay so this is wrong so we have to modify like this just remove and put here like this okay we save and go back to check again and they will give you another notice which is this one is undefined so i think i was wrong to put this variable it have to be inside so we check again and there's no error so it have to be working yeah it's working okay but the problem is there's no animation so how do we do that it's pretty easy going to the master css and give the transition all one second save and preview okay looks so smooth right yeah 
so this is how can we give the animation and yeah with the bootstrap version 4 so thank you very much don't forget to like comment and share please let me know if you want to request tutorial about website design so nice to meet you from indonesia goodbye